I'm Lewis Gordon, author of Fear of Black Consciousness. You may ask, what is the fear of black consciousness? Well, the fear of black consciousness is the fear of truth. It's a truth in which black people are recognized, treated, and understand ourselves as agents of history. And as agents of history, we also are able to live our freedom with dignity and respect. But in a white supremacist and an anti-black society, there's another fear. And that fear is that the realization of dignity and respect for black people is a world in which white supremacists and anti-black racists have become irrelevant. There's also another issue, and there's a, that other issue is related to how people tend to talk about black people. Because you see, many people think their black people are the black people. And what is ignored is the black, the set of black people who are in South America, in countries like Brazil, Colombia, all over the Caribbean, where we have the largest populations of black people in this side of the Atlantic. What is often ignored is the complexity of black peoples in Africa, but also in South Asia. For instance, when we think about the Dali populations or those in Pacific, uh, uh, the Pacific Islands and across the globe, or even the complicated histories of Scandinavia, France, or the very fact that in Iberia, in Portugal and in Spain, we have what created the Euro modern world through which we think of black people today. So as I look across the globe, from the South Pacific through Asia, where there's the Dalit population, all the way through to the complexity of what we see in the Scandinavian countries, what we may see happen in the very history of the formation of the Euro-modern world and race in Iberia, where you have Portugal and Spain, or even the complexity of how we think about Russia and the Circassian populations. We begin to understand that to talk about what it is to be black in consciousness is also to talk about Euro-modern and African history. And this includes even the mythic versions as I talk about in my discussion of Wakanda with the famed Black Panther. So to address these issues, I explore through this book, the difficult terrain, the difficult terrain through which there is a form of white narcissism that makes one as an agent of history exclusively white or at least not black. And this often guises itself as color blindness. I show that this is a lie. This is a form of bad faith. And as I unmask this lie and go through its terrain, I do so through examining also a very difficult question. And that is the question in which to be white and to live an everyday life is also one in which there's a profound license over the lives of others. You see many, many other people in the world live each day with the realization that just to be able to get through the day as an ordinary day is an extraordinary achievement. And that extraordinary achievement is so precisely because of what it is to live under white dominated societies. This then, this achievement of being able to live as agents of history requires a political commitment and a creative practice richly layered through art, love, and ultimately revolutionary action. Mm -hmm.